hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new without further ado let's go ahead and get straight into today's video so for today we have a another product review so born pretty was kind enough to reach out to me and send me a few products of my choice so we are just going to go ahead and try a few of them here today so here are the five products that they sent for me to try out for you guys today and let's go ahead and jump straight into it so the first product that we have here is a milky white gel polish and I do believe that it is glow in the dark. So here's what the gel polish looks like with the two coats on and I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like when it glows in the dark. Okay, so it's basically almost completely black in my room. This is what it looks like when it glows in the dark and it does have a slightly blue tint on camera, but I feel like in real life it's definitely more on the turquoise to green side. So that's really pretty. I actually really like this, but let me go ahead and turn the lights back on. The next color that we have here is this really beautiful purple glitter gel polish. The next color that we have is this Jelly Deep Red. And it's a very deep red as you guys can see. So those are all of the gel polishes that I have. The next thing that we're gonna move on to is something a little bit different. So next I have this Aurora like extension gel. This honestly reminds me a lot of poly gel except it's in a jar and I believe it's slightly thicker, but we're gonna go ahead and see. So when I said it's slightly thicker, I mean it's a lot thicker. As you can see, this is like almost completely solid. I'm gonna like try and press down so you guys can see how stiff it is. So yeah, definitely pretty stiff. And lastly, they just sent over this beautiful little tube of cuticle oil. It is strawberry flavored, so we're gonna go ahead and test out how this smells at the end. I'm not gonna use that yet. I'm gonna wait until after I finish the set. So those are all of the five products. Let's go ahead and jump straight into today's nail set. So here are what my natural nails are looking like. And as you can see, they're not too bad. I just did them about two days ago. So I really don't have too much work to do, but just as a precautionary measure, I do kind of want to get up any excess product from around my cuticles from the poly gel set that I just did. And for that, I'm just going to go in with this little scraper tool. So to start off my nail prep, I'm just going to file my nails nice and even because I am doing clear nails today. And I wanna make sure that my pinky blends in as best as possible because she's trying her best, but I don't want it to like show through. So I'm just gonna cut down my pinky just a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay, so she's trimmed down. I don't wanna go too far because this is a nail fungus and I just don't wanna play with it too much because I am in the process of treating it. So I don't wanna like risk anything. I'm just gonna take this mini file and I'm going to smooth out the edges of my nails.
Okay, so that's basically all of the nail grooming that I'm gonna be doing today. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a matte peel off base coat really quickly and I'll be right back. So I have my matte peel off base coat applied and I also have all of my nail tips sized out and ready to go. And because I do want these to come off easily, I'm gonna be curing them on using some matte top coat. And before I go ahead and cut these down and file, I am going to go in with one more layer of matte top coat just to make sure everything is nice and locked in. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut them down and I'm gonna cut them down using these tip cutters. I'd say about here. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, so this is a pretty good length. And for today's set, I am gonna be doing a rounded stiletto and I haven't done this set since I did my ethereal nails probably a few weeks ago at this point so i'm just going to start off by cutting down the sides using my straight edge nail clippers okay so i think something like this is good enough for now And so once I'm happy with the rough shape, I'm gonna go ahead and clean them up using my 80-80 grit nail file from Pana. Okay, so this is the shape finished and now we are finally ready to move on to the application. Okay guys, it's me. So I wanted to very quickly pop in and let you guys know something about this acrylic that I'm using for today. So towards the beginning, I did say that I was using a clear acrylic, but I'm actually going for a very sheer nude. And the nude is a custom color that I made using Young Nails Rosebud Acrylic and some clear Mia Secret Acrylic. So I just wanted to mention that because I know that right now um, it doesn't look very clear and it's because it's not actually a clear acrylic. So I kind of lied to you guys a little bit in the beginning because I changed my mind afterwards. But yeah, I am just going to go ahead and let you guys watch the rest of this application and we'll be back for the shaping and filing.
So here's what my application is looking like and now I'm going to go ahead and start filing. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to file the undersides and the sidewalls of the nail and just make sure everything is nice and crisp. So this one is nice and shaped up and I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other nails. Okay, and after I've shaped up the sides and the undersides of my nails, I'm just going to go ahead and seal my cuticles using my medium carbide bit. And now that my cuticles are nice and sealed, I'm just going to use my 80-80 grit nail file to completely smooth out the surface.
And here's what it looks like once I've shaped up these nails. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly buff them before we get onto the nail art. Okay, so my structure is complete and I absolutely love this shape. It's definitely a breed in between almond and stiletto and whatever it is, I love it. So now that my base is done, I'm just going to go ahead and wash my hands really quickly and I'll come back. Okay, so here are my nails nice and washed. And now we're going to go ahead and start with the nail art. I actually have some plans for this red jelly nude. I kind of want to do something with like an aura nail and let's see where this goes. So I'm just going to put some of this red onto my mixing plate. And we're going to use this to create a red aura and I've never actually done something that was like kind of a dark aura. I've always done a lighter color, but we are gonna be doing a darker color. So kind of scary, but I think we've got it. But before we do anything, I'm going to go ahead and wipe off my nails with some isopropyl alcohol. So I'm gonna start off with this nail and actually what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply a little bit of base coat just so that I don't have any bleeding and I'll be right back. Okay, so we are finally ready to get started. So to create my aura, I'm gonna be using this fan brush and I've done this method probably about twice on the channel. Instead of using the airbrush tool, I am gonna be stippling on the color using this fan brush. So I just take a little bit of the color, I try to get it as thin as possible because we will be doing this in layers. And I just like to stipple it onto the nail starting from the center and working my way outwards. And once it kind of looks like this, I do like to get rid of some of that excess gel polish and I just use the very edge of the fan brush and I just blend it out as best as I can. And I do also like to keep one side clean. This is the side that I use to really get it nice and dispersed. So I just go around the edges and make it even more faded out, if that makes sense. Okay, so this is layer number one. And of course it's not super like perfect. It doesn't exactly look airbrushed, but I do like a little bit of that texturized look personally. And I do think that it is close enough to be considered like a substitute method. So I'm just gonna go ahead and flash cure this and then we'll continue to do the other layers. One thing that I will note is that when you are doing this method using the fan brush, you really wanna make sure that each layer you are focusing more and more on the center. Okay, so we've kind of entered the voiceover section of the video and I wanted to really quickly talk about the consistency of this gel polish and I wanted to touch on the Born Pretty polishes in general and what I think of their overall consistency. So based on the Born Pretty review that I did a few weeks ago and this experience here, I will say that Born Pretty has some of the best consistencies for gel polish that I have tried personally. But of course, I don't think that it's right for me to say they're the best ever, but I do think that they have a very good universal consistency. And when I say universal, I'm basically saying that it is very much in the middle, so it's not too thin of a consistency, but it's also not too thick. 
Now, I know there are gonna be some people who prefer a thinner consistency or a thicker consistency, but I personally do like something that's in the middle because I do like having the choice of building it up if I want to or leaving it nice and sheer. So when it comes to their overall opacity of their gel polishes, I think that it is absolutely perfect for doing any type of set. Not to mention, they also have a very smooth and creamy feel to them. And of course, I did also mention this in my first review of the Born Pretty Pastel Polishes, but the consistency when it comes to how smooth it is to apply is absolutely A1. Like, it's probably the best consistency of gel polish when it comes to the smoothness that I've tried basically ever. And if you are someone who is a little bit like me and you struggle with polishes that are just not very self-leveling and they're just not smooth, this is definitely a good gel polish to go ahead and try. And for anyone who is interested or is able to use my code, I do have a discount code under the name Kai10. And of course I will put it up on the screen and leave it in the description box as well. Not only is this code valid for the products that I showed in today's video, but it is valid for every single product on their website. So definitely go ahead and use this code if you're interested in saving some money and trying out some of these products. And of course, I just wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you so much if you ever do consider using any of my codes it definitely means the world to me but i don't want to take up too much of your time we are almost done with the airbrush effect and i'm just going to go ahead and let you guys watch the rest and i will be back towards the end surprisingly this is like actually really vampy and more surprisingly I like it. Now I'm going to go ahead and add another layer of base coat because I am going to go in with some line art and I want to make sure that the surface is nice and smooth so that we don't have any like inconsistent lines or whatever. And before I do that, I do want to say that you probably shouldn't wipe these nails off before you add the base coat. And that's just because I find that when I wipe it off after I've done the aura nails using the fan brush, it kind of takes off a little bit of that color and I wanna keep the color on the nails. So I don't recommend wiping them off before you put on the base coat. Now what I like to do is I like to allow the base coat to sit for a little bit so that I can have time to self level. As you can see, the shine on this nail is very clean, whereas some of them are still a little bit like wavy. So I wanna make sure that everything is nice and as smooth as possible before I cure. And sometimes I do like to flip my hand upside down just to help the leveling process. And before I cure, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down the sides. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cure for 30 seconds. Okay, so for the line art, I'm gonna be attempting to make a red that's as deep as this. I don't have a dark red for some reason. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this black gel polish mixed in with this red here. Okay, so I think this is a pretty close red. And now I'm gonna take my long nail art brush just to create some of these like little bubbles, if that makes sense. But I'm making sure to use a pretty long brush just so that I have that extra stability. And of course, all of the items that I am using in today's video will always be in the description box below. Okay, so now we're on to the line art for this set. And I will say that I kind of went a little bit overboard because Mine was definitely more intricate than the reference photo, but that's okay. I actually don't mind it because I do like the set to feel more like my own thing rather than really like copying someone else's set. And of course, there's nothing wrong with copying the set that you are inspired by to a T, especially if you are a beginner and 
you're kind of just getting your feet out there when it comes to nail art. I think in the beginning, it is definitely a good idea to actually copy people's work so that you can learn different techniques and see how other people use gel polish or nail decorations and stuff. But me personally, I feel like I'm at a point where I don't feel like it's necessary for me to copy someone else's work if I know that I can add my own style to it and add my own spin. So yeah, that is definitely what I did here and it's definitely more extra than the original, but I don't mind at all. But besides that, I did want to briefly mention what I am doing here. So the first thing that I did is I created a boundary for the circles to go in between. And the boundaries aren't too like strict. I kind of just like made two lines and that was my boundary. After creating those quote unquote walls or boundaries, I went in with some lines that were a little bit more like curved in between so that I could start to create my circles. And once I have those lines, I did like to round out the edges to make it look a little bit more circular. Because of these shapes, it was definitely a little bit more time consuming than I assumed it would be, but it was super fun. Like I just really got into the zone. Like I was really focused and I had a great time doing it. So don't stress too much while you are doing this and remember to just have fun and do your own thing. Okay, so I think I kind of like that and I'm just gonna go ahead and cure this for 30 seconds. Okay, and I'm just going to do the same thing on the rest of my nails, except I'm going to randomize it a little bit, give it a little bit of variation.
Okay, so this is what my thumb is looking like and now I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off with some top coat. And I'm going to go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and finish off this set using the strawberry cuticle oil. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about this cuticle oil. So the first thing that I did want to mention is that it does smell very nice. It kind of smells like a strawberry like lollipop or just any strawberry candy in general. So that was actually very nice because strawberry flavored anything is probably my favorite thing on this entire planet. But I will also mention that it was definitely a bit on the watery side. It didn't feel much like an oil. So in reality, I probably wouldn't use this much to actually actually moisturize and hydrate my cuticles, but I would use it for the smell. But that completes today's set. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this one. I absolutely love, love, love how these came out. They were super vampy and like, I'm not really big on like super dark sets, but this kind of changed my mind. I might get more into like vampy sets in the near future. I honestly think that the red aura is probably my favorite part because it just kind of ties everything together and it makes that nail art blend in a little bit better with the entire nail set. As I mentioned, before if you are interested in trying any of the products that I used in today's video I will leave my discount code and the official Born Pretty website down in the description box below. Of course huge huge thank you to Born Pretty for sending me these products to review and as always thank you all so so much for tuning in today and I will see you guys in the next one.